What up, Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel, all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. And today I have another Mandrake Monthly. I'm so excited. This is my second Mandrake Monthly in a row, and I am just having a ball unboxing all these awesome vintage items for you. So Mandrake, if you don't know already, is a great website in Japan that you can buy stuff from that is usually used, but in very good condition. They also sell things for a pretty good price, and shipping is generally inexpensive. So it's a great way to stock up on some of that Sailor Moon good, awesome, wonderful merch that you may have missed in previous collaborations or from the Sailor Moon store. So I'm gonna go ahead and break into this because it's pretty heavy. I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here and I kind of forgot what I purchased. Okay, I have everything out of the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with item number one. Uh, this, I believe, is a collection of cards. Uh, so if I open this box, I don't know much of anything about these. So unfortunately, I can't tell you much. Uh, these are, it, let's see, it says Cardas, Cardas. Um, it comes with 32 cards plus five extra things and then two other things. I don't know what, what that means, but it comes with a little, like, a little explainer card. Uh, and then it says it's 25th anniversary, so I believe that these are reprints of vintage cards. Uh, just in a 25th anniversary edition, uh, which is great because they will be brand new in excellent condition. And these do appear to be excellent condition. Ah, okay. So the first thing we get is sticker sheets. So I believe that you could put these like on a card machine if you had one. I don't, and that's fine because I would rather put them on my laptop anyway. So we get three different sticker sheets. And these do feature a whole bunch of different pictures of the Sailor Senshi. There's so much cardboard in this box. Looks like five little, I don't know, advertisement cards or something. Nothing really special about any of these. They're just one-sided. And lastly, we have the 32 actual cards that come in this edition. Uh, so each of the backs on these cards is different. It looks like it corresponds with the character on the front of the cards. And all of these are prisms, which is awesome. I didn't know they would all be prisms. That's pretty cool. So to kind of give you an idea of what these cards are, these do appear to be reprints of the original cards. They are not in order, so I'll have to put them in order, but they do feature a whole bunch of images from, it looks like the anime, and it varies which season of the anime. So we have one from Sailor Moon R, we have the Starlights in here, there's one of Tuxedo Mask and Chibi Moon, there's one of Princess Serenity, and on and on. So I will show you some close-ups of these cards so you can get an idea of which, what the legitimate cards look like. Uh, these are really, really pretty, and I'm super excited that I was able to get them. You see so many bootlegs of cards, Sailor Moon cards online, especially on eBay. So it's really exciting that they're reprinting a lot of the pretty ones, and they end up on places like Mandarake where I can actually buy them. So yay, I like being able to have cards. I also got a couple more coasters because you know that I am collecting these Q-Pot coasters. I ended up getting Sailor Pluto and Super Sailor Moon. Uh, so I, I think the only Sailor Moon one that I am missing now is the original one, and I'm also missing all of the Sailor Senji, except for, I believe, Mercury is the one that I have. Let's see here. <laughs> I do have like a stack of these things going. Um, I am missing Sailor Maker. Um, cool, I have all of the Outer Senshi, which is awesome. Yeah, I have Sailor Mercury. So now I'm missing just four of the Inner Senshi from the original Q-Pot collaboration, and I think that will be all of them. And then I will have everything except for one of the Starlights. So I'm slowly getting all of these, and I'm super excited that I eventually might end up actually finishing this collection, which is very hard to do because they're really hard to find. Some other items that I've been collecting a lot of are these Prism Station pointer pens. Uh, so I do have a whole bunch of them up there, but the ones that I was missing are Uranus and Neptune, and then we have Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Moon. So I'll go ahead and open these. They're really, really pretty. I love these. They come in gorgeous boxes too, like gorgeous prism holographic boxes. So if I open this, 
I'll show you what all of them look like. So these are the boxes that they come in. You can tell that they are sparkly all around. They have really pretty art of the senshi that they are based off of. So like on these, I have Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Moon. And then the pointer pens, uh, in this case, we got the moon stick, which has three little jewels on the front as well as the little uh, crystal in the center. And since these are pointer pens, you can extend them like so, or you can just leave them not expanded like that. And then I got the rose, which is supposed to be like Tuxedo Mask's rose. Uh, kind of looks like he has a cane. Um, very rarely, but it kind of looks like that, and this one also extends. Let's go ahead and open up Uranus and Neptune as well. So there's their art on the back of the boxes, also very pretty. Okay, so here is Uranus's pointer pen, also extends, and it looks very pretty. Really, really nice color at the top of that. And Sailor Neptunes. Cool, so I can add those four to my collection finally, yay! I also managed to get these gel pens, which I've been looking at for a long time. You can still find these in a few different places like eBay, Mandrake. There's a lot of sellers on Instagram that sell these. So they're pretty popular. Um, I haven't tested them yet, but hopefully they work really well because I love gel pens. Like I grew up with gel pens and I was super excited to see that these were available. I just didn't want to spend a lot of money on them. So when these come out, oh good, there's a little bit of wax covering them. So I'll go ahead and open them up and do a little bit of drawing with them and see how they work. This is a vintage Nakayoshi notebook. Um, this one I believe is, let's see, Nakayoshi 40th since 1955. So this came out in 1995. Uh, this is in perfect condition, which I was super excited about. And it's a simple notebook. Book. Uh, you can write in it if you want to and it has some really pretty art on each of the pages the art is all the same on all of the pages but it's very very pretty I also got a couple of clear files this first one is from the exhibition that happened back in I want to say 2016 uh, but the clear file is gorgeous it's great art of Sailor Moon and I also received this one which features a manga art of all of the senshi and this one is actually sparkly too so it's very very pretty and last but definitely not least for this mandrake monthly is this little collection so this is the sailor moon stick and rod light up edition pretty guardians fan club edition of this uh, set so this features and i'll go ahead and open up the box so you can see it but uh, we got some gold foil on the front and on the back it says Sailor Moon Stick and Rod Light Up Edition of the Stick and Rod set. When you open it up, if you got the Sailor Moon Fan Club Edition, then it comes with this really pretty art of the inner senshi on the inside. And then we have the actual uh, Stick and Rod collection. So it's each of the transformation wand pens for the inner senshi, and then we also have a moon stick. And now I don't know if all of these light up or just the moon stick, so I'm gonna go ahead and test that out and see which, which ones actually light up. Okay, so it appears that just the moon stick lights up and when it lights up it has this nice yellow glow it looks very pretty very small it's like a miniature size so it's not like real size like the proplicas are but it looks very pretty uh, really nicely done too i'm pretty happy with it and then all of the inner senshi they do not light up it doesn't appear so but they are actually pens so you can use these to write with which is kind of hilarious and super adorable so each of them looks like that. And nice enough, underneath the styrofoam, we also get a whole bunch of stands. So if I wanna display these instead of keeping them in the box, even though the box is really pretty, uh, then I can totally do so. So I will most likely take them all out and then display them up there. All right, so that is everything for my Mandrake Monthly. I'm pretty happy with it. These were a bunch of like small little collector things that I really wanted to get my hands on and I finally did. So I'm pretty excited to be like, wrapping up some of my little collections and getting like the whole collection, which is super exciting. So don't forget to like and comment below if you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, definitely let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos of Mandrake monthly hauls, if you enjoyed those kind of videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs. Jenny.